Hello everyone, Asterburn here. Call me 101, I'm going to do another review. <coughs> now, I went to Target, and if, I don't know if I posted up the video yet. Don't ask people who works at Target, Walmart, or Toys R Us, unless they're your friends, that's okay, but don't ask them, do they have this? Now, the reason why they do that is because they don't know if they have this, even though they, they work there. Oh my god, I asked this lady... Do you have the exclusive Ninja Turtle? You know, all the new stuff in the full pack. And I seen people bum buying them. It took us eh, 20 minutes, maybe, for her to answer it. And I told her on the thing, the local, local computer thing, because she keeps typing TMNT, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles movie, Ninja Turtle pack. And I'm like, no. Type in Out of the Shadows. It will pop up. She doesn't want to listen to me. She doesn't want to be stubborn. Oh my god. So she says, oh, no, that's exclusive stuff, the full pack thing. What she said, she said, like, like they don't sell those. They don't make those. And if it does, it'll be online only. I was thinking to myself, oh, God, I got to turn off this video because I'm recording this whole conversation. And it, it was really annoying because, like I said, she they don't know Jack. So people, if you are managers of Walmart, Target, and Toys R Us, Hire people who actually know their stuff. You know, because we can actually answer customer questions. I mean, I do your I do your guys' job all the time. I mean, seriously. I go to Target or Walmart or Twitter Us and they'll ask these people, do you have this and this? And they're like, oh, I don't know. But they, they don't even bother looking for you or help you or, or anything like that. So I'm helping parents to find the toys that they're looking for for the kids. Or I'm helping collectors. Like, this is the one. I mean, I'm doing reviews in front of these people in front of the toys and um you know i'd like to do it because i like to help people and obviously these people who works at the stores don't really do a very good job at it i mean for god's sake i mean come on i went to uh gamestop and i said um do you have any collectible stuff and then the guy said we don't sell collectible items of toys here at gamestop and i looked at him like yeah you do and I went to look anyways, and I found what I'm looking for, the little Ninja Turtle one, and it says collectible. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. And I showed the front of his face. He didn't want to say a word after that. So, people, the main point is, if you see people struggling, help them out. Um, and stop asking people if they have this toy or not, because there is no back out there, you know, in the back room for toys or whatever. And they don't know what they're selling. They don't know what you want. You can say, I want a blue toy. They're not going to understand you. So look for yourself. Look in the aisles. Look through the outside parts, like you know, the new boxes and everything. Because, because that's the best way. That's the only way you're going to find your stuff. So look for it yourself. So enough of that. Blah, 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 blah. What's up? I finally found one. Exclusive Bebop, uh, Warhog. He has, a, he has a bike, and it's Bebop, and it's a, it's not a Bebop from the toys like the Soul ones. You know when you give them for a little package. This one actually has a helmet in it. I don't know what else. Let's see. Uh, cl cl including to this, he has the same accessories. I didn't know which one to get because if you saw the video, I did not know. I didn't even see this one. That's saw Leonardo. I was like, oh, heck, there you go, you know, and then all of a sudden, I looked over and I found Bebop, I was like, whoa, and Bebop's my favorite, so, yeah, okay, Leo, whatever, according to this, uh, the exclusive of the Out of the Shadow ones, there's a Leonardo, Raphael, and a Rocksteady, and oh, Bebop, so, um, we're going to do some review on this bad boy right here. I'm excited. Now, you're going to see this again, this toy of Bebop, not the bike. Well, maybe the bike, but the toy of Bebop, because once I find the other Bebop, without his helmet, you know, just solo, just by himself and everything, I'm going to bring this one out so we can actually check one-on-one, -on -one. like, here's Bebop here, and here's Bebop right there. What's the difference besides the helmet, you know what I mean? All right, so we're going to do this, and I do apologize. My dad's watching a really, really, really loud movie. And uh, if you hear people screaming, gunshots going off, it's just a movie. It's not California. I'm in Colorado, so. 
Anyways, all right, so scroll down. This is going to be a whole new different thing now because this is the Out of the Shadow stuff. Now, I'm not going to put the actual movie of the first one of Ninja Turtles because there was no Bebop back then. But I will put, okay, first thing first, I'm going to put down, uh, you know, where to shop for your turtles or any toys you want here in Colorado. There's a few stores. And, of course, my favorite, Fighter Corners in California. I love those guys. I miss you guys. I really, I miss you guys. So I will, one day I will come and visit you guys or you come visit me, whichever works. And my buddy Jared to made him. Check him out. He does some really cool stuff. And if you like his work, subscribe. Um, so anything that's related to Outer Shells will be printed down here more. I'm pretty sure they don't have it yet because this is my very first Outer Shell toy ever. So once I get something uh, doing a review, there will be more listed down so you can actually check those reviews. So, um, and I will make a folder. So if you say dig it around, I will have I had to have folder of themes of different things. So this will be under the shadow um, out of the shadow reviews, and it will also be under vehicles um, um, folders and. Since this came out in 2016, this will be in the 2016 folder as well. So you want to check those out. There will be more anything that's kind of like this. <sighs> okay. So let's get on with the review. All right. Let's look at this before we open it up. We got the name. Spring Power Grenade Missiles, which is cool. Raw Hog. Let's name it right here. It's the guys on the side. I don't know what it is. They look a little bit better than the original one. Not the original original, but you know what I mean. Of course, you got to put it all on the side. Exclusive Bebop. I'll go to the bottom. 2016. Oh, uh, wait. Paramount. Oops. I'm going to say Viacom. And then you got these guys over here. What's going on? Like, what else is coming out? Looks like the same old Splinter, but painted better. Here's Bebop right there. Look totally different. And then here's Rocksteady, Raphael, and Leonardo. And on the back, it just shows you the whole thing. Super sweet. Alright, let's open them up, shall we? Alright. Okay, cut the corner pieces. There's more tape. Oh. What's going on here? Oh man, there's more tape, isn't there? Yep. Okay, it's too quiet in the living room. I don't know what's going on in there. So we have instructions how to use this bad boy. Keep instruction, people, believe me. And here's a new card. Ooh. So I'm telling you, the dog knows exactly what I'm doing my review. Anyways. So I guess these are new. Oh cool. Sword pops out. Same thing with that. That's pretty sweet. He looks kinda happy. And then new creepy mask faces looks the same. I think. And you get the back shell and you get the front shell. And you get this one. Here's a new van. The Technodrome. That's right, the Technodrome people. And this sewer that looks like 2012 sewer but a little more upgraded, I guess you'd say. They had a tech and draw flying over the city. That is pretty sweet. And now, let's see, we already showed you these guys. Showed you these guys. And I guess they have another one where they sweep their arms back and forth. And my personal favorite, which I was hoping to see giant 11 inch figures, and I want to get these to be about rock city. Come on, I mean, that's pretty sweet. Alright, so, yay. So what do we have? We got all this. Oh my god. Alright, so we talk about that's some 
horrible, horrible, tragic stuff. Oh, come on. I just open it. What more do you want? Try to do it this way. So, <laughs> here's the bike. That is sweet. According to the box, uh, this is supposed to be dark. So we can see Bebop's name right there. His chain across. Wow. So we'll lock it. I guess this is where the rockets go. Dang, that'd be pretty sweet to have in real life. I mean, uh, there it is. I don't know if you guys can see that because I barely can see it. I'm gonna zoom up on it. Paramount Picture, Hong Kong, Playmates Toys. Dang, it's all in there. Alright, so we're gonna put this camera down. And now we're gonna try to get this big butt out of here. They make it so difficult, don't they? And I think that's it. kind of weird feel classic I mean compared to the other turtle toys so all right so this is Bebop <laughs> um he has a I think they did a good job on this one because they actually gave him joints all right so no the hat does not come off Ooh, oh check it out the glasses kind of move but he has no painted eyes so the glasses are rubber like yeah, he has no eyes. Like, he has eyes, but they're not painted. It's okay. So you kind of move his eyes. His mouth doesn't move. I thought it did. Nope. Face kind of rubbery, but not as much. Something must I have of his horn, his teeth right here. Head kind of moves a little bit. Arms out. Has a joints at his uh, elbow part actually, which is pretty good. And he actually can move his wrist. Wow, cool ring. And his little tattoo right here. Kind of curious what kind of tattoo that is. I'm surprised that they actually paint it because you know how they always forget to put stuff like that. Um, oh, he can move from his hips or his gut. Uh, his leg moves and a joint at the knees nice oh this is beautiful they actually painted this whoa I know a lot of people are like so well if you don't play anyways they don't really paint very much and they actually painted the little dots on there check it out <laughs> and on the bottom of the shoe actually Wait a, wait a minute. Can I get a good light? Where's my little flashlight? Hang on. So, how do we see it with this light? It looks like a 2015 almost? Yeah. Or 2016, I can't tell now. Playmates. It's not even printed on here, I don't think. Or is it? There's Flameways. Need toys, of course, in Hong Kong underneath. Whoa, I got me dizzy. Okay, cool. So, that's pretty sweet, actually. Check this out, ready? He has a tail. 
That's right. So you're going to see Bebop's crack with his tail hanging on over it. And the thing is, I'm thinking they must have painted differently. Like, you know how they say, like, we like to paint things lighter for the kids? Blah, blah, blah. Well, obviously they did because this set of purple is such a pink beard. A little pink top of his head. And then the rest is all purple. Like, light purple. Still looks pretty cool, though. I'm surprised they actually painted his buckle. Wow. Amazing, guys. You guys are doing some good stuff. Now, let's get the accessories. Okay. What is this attached to it? Get off. Okay. So we got a crowbar. Paints it pretty nice. A little glossy kind of shine to it. So that's what people's going to have for his uh, weapons. Of course, there's no weapon holders for this one. And, of course, a chain with the lock on the edge of it. That is pretty smart. What am I doing that to a bad guy? So, you can actually stretch it. It's actually has a little rubber to it. Like, it goes right back. Sweet. And, of course, the grenade. Longers. So yeah, it actually looks like a grenade. Cool. And I'm guessing, uh, yeah, it goes like this. See, they're getting smarter because they're actually putting springs in it instead of that flicky like GI Joe toys. You know when you had to like that for the thing to launch. I think some GI Joes actually have springs now. I don't know. It's been a while since I played with GI Joes. But anyways, it has this really cool um, paint job, like metallic-like, which is really, really, really cool. Instead of making that cheap gray color. And, of course, that beautiful brass color. So, put Bebop on here. This is so sweet. And it has the knuckle sandwich, those brass knuckles for his handles. Super sweet. And let's see. Put that on there. Put you right there. And he fits pretty nice. That, that is awesome. Hey Bob, on a bike for once. Well, that belongs to him. Oh, I love this, man. Um can't move the laundry so they're actually stuck like that but is there gonna be a problem let's find out nope it doesn't hit bebop or anything so they designed that pretty well actually this is just unbelievably sweet guys i say get these oh, i love it i should have got i wish i got leonardo too but i had to get something else for a reason all right, guys. Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I mean, is this? Do you guys think this is pretty cool? Do I need to put a light on him? Like a chopper, a ghetto bird. He rides pretty well. He has nothing to worry about, no weight on it. So he, you know, like some toys. I'm not gonna mention that. You put the toy on her and also he barely rolls. But this one actually rolls. I always said I love when a new turtle comes out with bikes. I love it. It's probably the best thing in the world. Um, the only thing compared to this to the 2003 turtle bikes is that the handlebars do not move. So you can't really turn it and all that. Which is kind of a bummer. But oh look, it has little grenades on the side. See that? That's pretty sweet right here. I had grenades on this side too. I didn't even notice that. I love this. Alright. So, um, what do you guys think? I would have, to me, I would have to say as a turtle collector, comparing to the old school, or well, not the old school, the first, how do you call it? The first movie, CGI. With this version, I would say they are actually putting some effort, more effort into the toy right here than they did with the other one. Um, 
I don't, from the look of it, it doesn't look like we're going to get an April O'Neil in this one, which is not much of a problem. But you get Casey Jones, and it looks like he's wearing April, April O'Neil's pants. I could be wrong. But this is unbelievable, and it's sweet. I love this. I love this a lot. I mean, this is so cool. I know I've been saying that over and over, but wow. You guys did a great job on this designing, and thank you. Paramount people, whoever's making these toys, um, thank you for putting a joints on their legs and arms because that's the biggest thing for us fans out there. Now, hopefully, the, the solo ones, you know, the ones back there, hopefully they have joints as well. But, guys, seriously, fans, girls, or whatever, uh, <laughs> you gotta get your hands on these things. These are so awesome. Very sweet. So, uh, yes, put your comments down. Tell me what you guys think about this. I mean, to me, it's the most amazing thing ever because we're actually getting people on Rocksteady, Technodrome, and Krang in a movie. We've been wanting this for a very long time. So, um, put your comments down, people. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Dang, that's really strong plastic right there. So, um, if you like this review, push like. It does help my uh, video out. Share this with your friends. Seriously, share this. This is unbelievably cool uh, I'm very picky on my toys I'm I will say if I didn't like something I will say it and you need to witness that before one of my toys I, that I wasn't a big fan of and I will say it so I'm saying this this is pretty sweet this is amazing I love this toy I can't wait to get more of these to um, movie turtles alright guys so that's it for right now um, I'm pretty sure somebody's going to push dislike because they're not a big fan of Michael Bay stuff, but the thing is, Michael Bay has nothing to do with this. It just has his name in it. He's a like he's the company. He didn't touch it. He didn't design these. He didn't write it. He didn't direct it. So just remember that this has nothing to do with Michael Bay anymore. Actually, the first one didn't have nothing to do with Michael Bay. But anyways, so yeah, put your comments down, guys. Try our target. That's Candy Jones. Can I get it from here? Nope. Can't get him. Oh yeah, I got it. And it went over my bed. Oh yeah, this spring is actually pretty powerful. It has a lot of juice and oof into it, so it. it it will knock some foot soldiers or turtles down with this bad boy right here. Some springs aren't wasn't too sharp and too strong. Because it goes it flies out and just bounces off their shell and doesn't do much. This one actually has some spring power in it, so awesome job. I figure out something here. Okay, so you could hold it, have them hold one weapon. And then this one, it actually just goes straight like this and it locks up. So it doesn't come loose or anything like that. So you just hold his weapon like that. Pretty sure there's other different ways. Well, different ways, but I prefer like this. So maybe you can't have his weapon hold on to something. <laughs> I love this toy. Ah. So let's see the tall. Yeah, he's pretty tall over Leo. So he's pretty good size for the toy. I don't have, like I said, I don't have the movie ones yet, so I'm hoping it, could, it might be this taller or whatever. But compared to the 2012 style, yeah, he's pretty big. Good size, guys, good size. Alright, so that's my little review. I'm having a little bit too much fun. I've been posting Bebop shooting Casey Jones on Instagram. So, anyway, so, yes, guys, seriously, get this. I mean, if you can't find anything else, like, I don't know, really hoping to buy the Technodrome or the full pack or the Giant Turtles. Those are, like, the biggest thing I'm really want to aim for, but these are also pretty sweet. So, remember, Bebop, Rocksteady, Leonardo, and Raphael, they never finished the rest of them. But, um, I say get this. This is the coolest coolest thing in the world like oh my god okay like i can't get over this 
So, guys, get you, put this in your wish list or whatever you guys got. Um, you will not regret this. This toy is actually worth buying. These things are actually powerful to shoot any toy and knocking them down. The spring is awesome. The only little problem is, like you saw, is that, well, he goes pretty well, but when it comes over another curve, he'll get stuck. And this thing right here, and this thing right here will block it. So you can't really get over a curve unless you go fast, but that's the only thing right there is going to block you from going over a curve. But everything else besides that is pretty good. Uh, he holds his weapon pretty well. And I don't know what to do with the crowbar. Oh, there it is. So, let's give him two crowbars, or two weapons. Uh, it's very flexible, so you have to worry about poking it or hurting you. Alright, I guess we'll just do it like that. Alright, cool. So he holds his weapons, or his accessories, very, very good. So, good, good job, good job. Very good job on this. So, oh, alright guys, so let's ooze him. I'm ready for the ooze. Until then, people, take care of yourself. And happy hunting, everyone. See you later. Alright, so we're going to ooze them, or do our best on the ooze, because the ooze is slowly, slowly not being the best. So, I've been using this for quite a while now, and it looks like that. <laughs> so, instead of dripping down like our favorite, it's just turns into rubber, so you have to really, really, really stretch it out, because it's starting to get kind of old. I'm not surprised this ooze right here is actually surviving. So, maybe we just stretch him over him. And then. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Try and get that cool effect, shall we? Or try to. So I'm gonna wrap around the light. And then wrap around. Yeah. Hmm. One day I'll find some good ooze. Oh, it looks kind of cool like that. Let me just do this over here. Come back. Huh. Not too shabby. It was kind of cool, like that, actually. Let me get this little drop of ooze on the ground. And then. This maybe. That looks pretty sweet. I'll take it. I promise you I will find some ooze that actually drips. I like it. This looks pretty sweet like this. Alright guys. Uh, till next time.